Hello and welcome to another video from Natasha Lee. Continuing in my professional products basics, I'm going to show you how to produce a beautiful gel polish mani with loose ultra fine holographic glitter. This one really is stunning and it's surprisingly easy to produce with my hints and tips. Stay tuned to find out how. We're going to cleanse the nails with 99% isopropyl alcohol once you've actually applied your acrylic. And if you want to know how to create the acrylic nails or the overlays, then there's a link in the top right corner now that shows you exactly how to do it. I'll also include links to all the products in the description down below. Make sure when you cleanse the nails to clean under the free edge of the nail also. Once the isopropyl alcohol has evaporated off and the nails are dry and free from dust, we're going to go in with our first layer of gel polish. Now, as you can see, I don't have a lot on the brush here. We don't want to flood that nail or the cuticle area. And it really is a thin application is all that's needed. We just need to build up any opacity in layers. As you can see, I start by going just away from the cuticle and then slightly wiggling my brush and pushing back right up to that cuticle area. Again, I put excess in the center of the nail and then wiggle that brush back and forth to get really close to that cuticle tuck in nice and neat down the sides and you can take your time with this gel polish does not set not unless you put it in a lamp and if we go really really careful on this first coat as I say with regular nail polish then it means that we can apply that second coat so much quicker and it speeds up the whole application process because we're not spending ages cleaning up any polish from the skin I like to make sure that I've got a nice brush stroke free finish to the nail I'm just going in really closely this will show you how close I go up to that cuticle area we don't want to touch the skin because that will cause a surface breakdown and also you may build up a reaction to the products but we want to get as close to that skin around the nail without actually touching it and you can see it really is close but we're not actually going onto the skin this is probably the key thing that you can ever do when applying gel polish or nail polish when you've applied your first layer of gel polish to one hand and you're happy with the effect, pop it into your UV or LED lamp to cure. Now with gel 2, it's 30 seconds for a colour in the 36G LED lamp and 2 minutes in a 36 watt UV lamp. I always recommend using the relevant lamp for the brand of polish as they're normally specifically calibrated. After your first layer of gel polish is cured, it's time to go in with your second layer. And you can do this much, much quicker if that first layer was really precisely applied. And you can see how beautiful is this colour. I love rosette, it's so pretty. And you know what? I do not wear it enough myself. Make sure you cap those ends to stop it from chipping and to prevent service breakdown. And just a close up for you, you can see how nicely it applies here. Once you've applied that second layer, again, cure in your lamp for the relevant amount of time. When you've cured that second colour layer, we're ready to start playing with some glitter. And I'm going to be using the ultra fine holographic glitter from We Heart Nails in Pink Champagne. I'm using an old gel brush, which has gone fluffy, but you could use an eyeshadow brush if you wish. And I start by picking it up on the brush, placing it down onto the nail and then brushing downwards. I do this quite firmly and that's to make sure that all of those glitter flakes stay flat and nice on the nail so we really get that beautiful holographic reflection. For this method of application to work though we do need a gel polish brand that once you cure it it does have a sticky or a tacky layer left behind. That's what the glitter is actually sticking to in this situation. Now some brands have a better sticky layer than others and within brands some colours have a better sticky layer than others. But normally, if you use this method, it works well around all different types of gel polish. And that's to apply to the nail and pat it over like I am. And then when it's adhered, brush down to get all those flakes nice and flat. Make sure you don't forget those areas around the tip of the nail and get it looking so pretty. Look at that, look at the sparkle, love the sparkle. When you've applied the glitter to all the nails and you've removed any of the excess using your brush, it's time to apply the top coat. And I'm going in with my first layer and for this I'm using the Gel 2 No Cleanse Top Coat. No particular reason that I'm using the No Cleanse, I just like it and it's my most popular one that I use on myself because I'm lazy and it means I don't have to wipe off a sticky layer afterwards. Apply nice and evenly. Now what I do do, do, do is I keep two different top coats. 
I have one top coat which I keep for going straight over glitter so whenever I've applied glitter or pigments to a nail I have one top coat which I keep just for going over that one with the first layer and that's because you pick up some of the glitter and it goes back in the bottle. And don't panic if you do get any on the skin, just take a clean up brush dipped in isopropyl alcohol and then wipe the excess off before you cure it. It is important to do it before you cure because it's a nightmare to remove after you cure. When you've applied that first layer of top coat over your glitter, cure in your lamp for the relevant amount of time. Please note that with this top coat it's an extra 20 seconds in the LED lamp. And when you've applied that first layer, I'm going in with the second. Now this is my non-glitter top coat, which I'm using, and I'm applying a second layer. The reason I apply two layers over glitter is to make sure that you have that completely glossy mirror shine finish. And that not only makes the nails look absolutely amazing and perfect, but really makes that hollow shine. Again, note that it's 50 seconds for this top coat in your LED lamp and two minutes in your UV. As it's a no cleanse top coat, there's no need to cleanse the nails when they come out the lamp, so it's straight in with your cuticle oil. I'm using the Bliss Kiss one here, but I couldn't actually find my pen, so I had to use it straight for my refill bottle. If you do have to do that, don't touch the skin with the nozzle, or don't touch the nozzle on the skin, and it avoids cross-contamination. And here we have the finished nails. Now, I couldn't get a good pose of these because my sister-in-law has this really awkward thing that when you try to get her to pose her hands, they stiffen up. They're beautiful on camera. The minute you ask her hands to do anything that you need, it doesn't work. So these are the finished nails. This method will work for pigments, glitters, flakies, all sorts. Whatever you want to apply like that, this method will work. And it's so easy. I hope you've enjoyed this video as part of my professional products basics. And let me know if you'd like to see any more in particular. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next week.